Hey everybody, it's me again, AKMan 1984 and I'm here with a new tutorial for you guys to show you the new update of ComputerCraft. And uh, today I'm going to show you some cool stuff and uh, some, some of the new items that they've added in ComputerCraft and some of the things you can do with them. So now, as you see in front of me, I have a uh, monitor with a gold trim around it and a computer with a gold trim around it. And uh, if you remember, the computers and monitors look like this. And why is there a golden monitor and golden computer? These are called advanced computers and advanced monitors. And they can do pretty cool stuff. And this little thing here is called a printer. And you can print stuff off of it and uh, like make cool little books also out of it and uh, little stuff. So here are, are the books the look look and you can also do pages and uh, this is the the, the, um, the print the page that it uh, shows. Also you see that there's new floppy disks in the game that are color coded which is pretty cool for stuff you want to do and don't forget that you can also name these uh, floppy disks to whatever you want so you can have names plus colors on them and these are the uh, advanced monitors and advanced computers so you have a couple of new items um, added to the list and uh, I'm going to show you what they do so if you type help dot term you're going to see some new stuff that are added and here you see uh, term dot is color. What that does is returns the computer's uh, s support color. Um, so what this does is basically uses the determine whatever uh, color is is used or not used. So and then brings that back into information that you can store into a variable. So you can use this to um, find out which color is being displayed and then change it to another color if you want it to be changed. Uh, and then you see here uh, term dot set text color and then color. Now what this does is you can set the color of the text that you have to whatever color you want. Now here um, you could do color dot and then the 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 name of the color also white, and then it will display the white. Or you can use the binary numbers from one to uh, a uh, thousand six hundred uh, something I forgot what it was anyways if you do one it's gonna obviously do white if you do two it's gonna do orange and so on and so on and then term dot set background color is the same thing you can do color dot whatever you want and then it will change the color to that color to the of the background of your uh, of your uh, monitor or computer so that these two are different this one changes the color of the text that you're writing and this one changes the color of the background of your computer. Uh, so that's pretty much it, what that does. And this one too is new, turn.redirect. Now what this does is redirects the terminal's output to a monitor. Before you do that, before you do this, you have to specify where the monitor is by doing the uh, peripheral wrap uh, function you remember what that, what that was. And then term dot restore well, that just restores the uh, the display back to the terminal um, if it's already displaying on a monitor. So that's um, what they added to the terms. Also they did they did some new stuff. So if I write term dot uh, peripheral so here there's some new stuff. Um, where is it? Uh, no, sorry. Uh, well, I'll show you this in any case. Um, in hold on, let me turn down my music. Okay. So, oops. So, so 
So what this peripheral dot is present uh, does is basically brings back brings back a uh, uh <coughs> what this first command does the uh, peripheral dot is present ba basically brings back a true or false statement. So you can s if you say um, peripheral dot is present and then you specify the site, it's just going to say if it's true or not. So this code here, you can use it to determine what sides your monitor or your uh, whatever peripheral you have attached to your computer, determine what where it's located. But that requires a lot of coding to, to, to define which side it's on. But you can also use this to just, I mean, show where uh, where they are. Um, peripheral dot get type will determine um, what uh, on the side what peripheral is there so it basically shows you what what peripheral is on that side and then what peripheral shows on this on the other side uh, you can also use this to determine what sides your your monitors on or your printers on or even your disk drives on so you can use this get methods is a complicated function it uh, it returns a table according to all methods and peripherals on the side. So basically, it shows you what you can do on that on that peripheral. So it, let's say if you write uh, get method and then you write top, which is on my monitor, it shows you all the monitors uh, functions that you could do. So that's what that does. Um, and then you have peripheral dot call, and then this also you have to you write at the side and then the method name that where uh, it shows you what what methods you can do um, also you have peripheral dot wrap, wrap that I've already shown you and that's pretty much it um, you have also another one help dot paint tools so this is a little uh, more complicated you can uh, uh, draw on the monitors now or on the computers and what this does is it draws a pixel on the coordinate x, y and then the color you want. This one draws a line from the start of uh, the x coordinate and then the start of a y coordinate and the color you want. Um, paint tools uh, or pay whatever uh, loads Im load the image now this, uh, I don't know what it does Does actually. Um, I think you could load an Im image onto the computer, but it has to be a specific image. You can't load just any image. Um, I don't know how it works really, but um, you can try it, but it's not easy. Uh, and then draw image, well, you can draw an image that you want from the coordinates. So now I'm going to show you a little, um, little. <coughs> now, so now I'm going to show you a little uh, program I wrote just to show you the colors. So if I wrote AK, and then we'll see here there's a white background, and then the the, the color of my name changes. So, and if we wait a little bit, it will change by itself. So there is yellow. I use and then if we wait a little bit more and there is green. So the the program I wrote I wrote is not the best program but it does work in some way. So if we go into the editor um show you how this is done. So you do while you do and then you set your variables TC uh, text color and then BC background color so TC is set to 2 and BC is set to 1 and then for TC uh, 1 uh, do 1 sleep so what basically this does is adds 1 to your uh, your text color and then it just multiplies that by 1 by 1 by 1 and then and then, or adds it, sorry, adds it by one, and then how, this is how it basically changes the colors one by one. So, and this here, uh, 
uh, 16,384 is the limit of how many uh, numbers I wanted to uh, go by. And this is the top number. I think this, if you if you do this, is the red. But I'm not too sure. Anyways, um, and then you have um, the peripheral that's on the top, which is my monitor. And if you want this to work on your monitor, if your monitor is on a different side of the computer, do not forget to change this. And then also you do a term dot clear, and then term dot set scale, and then the the cursor position where you want the the uh, text to be printed, and then also set your background color. So my background color is one, which is white. If I did two, it would be orange. And then set text color, which always changes from this code up here to whatever the color it goes by. And then you write your whatever text you want it to output to the monitor by doing mon.write. And then it you have to do two ends, one end for this four here, and then another end for the wall to do. The printer now, I'm going to show you what you have to do to get this running. So you have to get obviously the printer on. Uh, on the uh, side of the computer and then you have to put paper on the top row here and you can put uh, in, uh, any number amount of paper obviously 64 is you can have 64 in one slot and then you have to put an ink sack or any dye color stuff you have so if you go into uh, to here and then or basically a pink dye um, so all these dyes work and then they give you different colors for your pin printed uh, text on on the paper so whatever you put here if you put ink sack it's gonna obviously do black but if you do uh, any other of the dyes it's gonna print that that color on your text so I've already done a little uh, program to show you this. So, as you saw, the little paper that was on top here went on the bottom. And if I go inside the printer, it's on the bottom now. And if I take it inside my inventory, and if I if I click on it, right click, uh, left uh, right click on it, it says, "Hey, hello, AK Man 1984" on a piece of paper, which is pretty pretty cool. Um, so, I'm going to show you the code for this. So it's pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward and uh, I mean it's the easiest code ever. So the first thing first is you have to do printer equals peripheral dot wrap and then write. If you, like I said, if your printer is on the another side of the of the computer, you have to determine on which side of the computer is your printer. So mine is on the right side of this computer. And then the next code you have to do is printer dot new page. What this does is basically takes the page that's here and then puts it inside the the printer to get printed. And then the next code is printer dot write hello I came in nineteen eighty four. What this writes is that what this does is writes the message onto the paper. And then the last code is printer dot end page. What what this does is basically outputs the page to this slot and then you can grab it from the uh, from the printer and then read it so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys if there's something I missed and or there's something I you guys want to see more in depth uh, let me know but uh, in other cases I mean it's pretty straightforward uh, you can also don't forget that you can also print your code onto paper so let's see that um, let's get a new piece of paper. Oop. Uh, where is it? So let's get a new piece of paper with uh, some ink. Okay. Oop. Okay. And let's put the print. Oh, let's put the uh, page in there. And put an ink in there, 
and then press print and then if we take this and also it shows you the name of the uh, of the program um, I forgot how to do that actually I forgot to show you guys that let me just go into the alright so I forgot to show you how to do that and basically what it, what uh, you need to do to get that is set right printer dot uh, set page title and then that basically uh, puts the page title of of your paper so that's that's the page that's the print uh, that's the page title and if I go here see it's basically showed me the um, edited stuff I had um, if you write uh, uh, there's also another uh, methods you can write it which is print dot get paper level and basically what that does is it tells you how many papers you have in the in the upper tray of the printer also you can write printer dot get ink level which also uh, shows you how much ink you have in the box over here uh, you can also print um, you can also do print dot get cursor pose which uh, you can set the cursor uh, pose to anywhere you want on the pa paper and then you don't forget to put the X and Y position um, sorry uh, let me rephrase that get cursor pose will t tell you where the cursor position of the of the uh, cursor is on the paper and then set cursor pose just like I've showed you in the past with the monitors just this time you have to write printer in front of it to get the put the cursor position that you want on the paper and and then you put the X and Y and then also you can do printer dot get size get page size sorry what that does is is the same thing as you do when you do term dot get size it basically tells you the size of the of the page in numerical fashion of how big it is and that with that you can also set the position of the cursors and stuff so that's pretty much it for this video let me know if there's anything you want me to cover and uh, please like my videos and or dislike my videos but at least press one of the two buttons so I can continue making videos, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.